Okie doke. I just got this delivered. It's a CR Crane AM/FM shortwave radio, and uh, going to open it up here. adapters for the antenna. Okay, I had a uh, shortwave radio last week that I AMFM that I got, and it was excellent. But the shortwave just didn't seem like there was any any stations there. It just was so dead. So I don't know whether the shortwave bands are that dead now or uh, whether it was the radio. So I was thinking it took four double A's for some reason, but it takes two double A's and you can re use rechargeable. So, no, it does take four. It just, uh, they slide back in there. So, I want to use four of the same kind and the same milliamps. Let me move this camera over here. Let me I have to look through the view through the uh, at the LED on the back to see but you can see but, you know I can't uh, think this is going to work I don't know we'll see uh. okay I'm going to I want to scratch this thing up already here. Okay. One, two. Wait a minute. That does not look right. What's wrong with this picture here? Spring should be on the. Aha, uh... uh -huh. okay, yeah. Okay, the batteries are in. Now you can also use D-cell. There's also a switch here for the uh, tuning. 9 ke kilocycles or 10 kilocycles. Of course, for the United States, we want it on 10, and I'm using uh, double A's instead of D batteries. Okay. On the uh, side here, line out battery size, double A, switching to double A's. There's for the DC power in, but we're going to use AC power for right now. For right now, I'm going to use just the antenna here. Let me see how much you can put the. I think the dial light can be. I don't want to break this antenna off here. Key light off on. Distant reception. Built in antenna, not the external antenna. On. Let me see what you can see here. 
think you can see it, but I'm at such an awkward position here. Okay, FM band we're on, it looks like. Where's the volume? Let's see here. programs accreditation and graduate admission information at chapman.edu slash graduate degree okay the FM sounds good This is 90.1 KERA, Dallas, Fort Worth, Denton, and streaming at KERA.org. Also on 100.1 K261CW and Tyler, 88. Okay, let's see. Dial time, lock. Well, you might notice this radio does not have a keypad for a direct entry. That doesn't really matter to me. I don't mind. I like using the uh, dial. Um... Also, over here, I already ordered it in from China. This is one thing this radio does not have is uh, the ability to pick up single sideband. But with this attachment, which I ordered from Japan, it will. And this will hook on the back. So when I bought this, it comes with this, and I put, had to put four batteries in it came with this cable and then there's this adapter which goes and fits on the back of this radio on some other radios you would use you wouldn't use the adapter so this is going to go on the IF output and I just hit a button I don't know what I hit but I hit a button okay AM antenna Okay, I don't see the... This is F5UA repeater. AM, let's see. Okay, antenna. That, okay, there. It does say it there. And that goes in like that. Now, a lot of you wouldn't be interested probably in, you know, single sideband, but let's... Uh, Where in heck's a dial light on this thing here? Of ...scandals that threaten to overshadow his second term agenda. He's returning to issues surrounding the economy and investment. He spoke moments ago at Ellicott Dredges in the Baltimore area, highlighting that manufacturing plant as a driver of job growth. In a little over three years, stereo. businesses like this one have created more than six... Okay. Narrow band or wide on AM and short on shortwave right now. Let's put it on wide. And let's go to. Okay, there's 10 megacycles. Let's see what we can hear. Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. I. Uh, wanted to look, update you on what's going on with the radio situation here. You'll remember if you were watching that uh, I purchased the Sanjin ATS909X, gave it a test, and I found on the short wave that it just just was not picking up short wave the way it should be, so I returned it. And I got the Sea Crane radio here. 
And here is the the box for it. It says excellent AM FM shortwave reception, lighted display and buttons, clock, radio loop, you know, alarm snooze, etc. etc. And here is the radio itself. I'm not going to do a bunch of uh, tuning around with it. That just eats up too much time. And I've seen uh, a bunch of videos on YouTube where people have tuned in various stations. Um, let me say that the Sanjin or Sanjin, it uh, really feels good. Uh, I mean, it's quality. You can just tell it's quality. But on the shortwave reception area, it just wasn't receiving hardly anything at all the way it should be. Uh, just like, almost like the band was dead. Now, sure, I did pick up some stations, but uh, not very satisfactory. But for a AM, FM radio, of course, that's a lot of money just for an AM, FM radio, but it, yeah, I would recommend it. Uh, if you're not into shortwave, I would recommend it. Uh, and it does do shortwave and longwave. And it's got some nice features, uh, some things that this radio lacks. But on this radio <coughs> here, it does pick up shortwave. <coughs> I picked up Radio Marty, you know, broadcast to Cuba. Uh, a whole bunch of a uh, whole bunch of stations, really. Um, let me tell you what, what, and the AM, FM, I've got hearing problems in both ears. That sounds, AM, FM sounds fine to me on this radio. Uh, shortwave, I was surprised on this other radio. You know, I just didn't pick up anything on the higher frequencies, up, say, above uh, 18 megahertz or whatever. But on this one, I picked up ham radio, or, um, well, ham radio, I picked up, CB operators on 27 or on 11 meters. Uh, just picked up quite a bit of stuff. Now, okay, I was going to tell you what I don't like about it. It'd be nice if it had a keypad for putting in the memory instead of tuning, but I can live with tuning. I did shortwave radio. That was my hobby when I was a kid. I like tuning the dial. I like doing that. A touch, you know, being able to put the frequencies in. What I really don't like is the fact that when you tune the shortwave bands, you're tuning, and then when you come to the end of the one segment of frequencies, you have to switch to the next shortwave band, and then when you come to the end of that, you switch to the next shortwave band. Where with most, I think, and with the this engine, you just keep tuning. And uh, I think, though, that probably this, the band switching is probably what gives us the better shortwave reception because probably when you switch have to switch the bands some different circuits are probably brought into play that are tuned to the higher frequencies or the lower frequencies or whatever but I just kind of you know I'm tuning and all of a sudden whoops gotta switch the band um, I wish this had a input frequency uh, an input jack so you could uh, plug a, some other device in and use the speakers on it. Um, of course, it has a headphone jack and everything. I like the, uh, of course, the gain control and the treble on the brass, volume control. Um, well, there was something else. It would be nice if, uh, by the way, this thing does, you can put A, double A batteries or D batteries in it. And, uh, you know, you pick the, uh, you tell it which one. Um, here is an, it doesn't do single sideband unless you have an adapter. Now they have the plug here where you can plug the adapter in. I spent uh, 60 bucks and about 80 bucks worth of that was of postage from Hong Kong to get this device which plugs into that jack I showed you on the back with this 
with this cable. Uh, it'd be nice if you didn't have to purchase something extra. I mean, but it, this does give you the possibility of doing some some stuff. You could feed out that I, IF uh, to your computer and, and uh, with the right program, whatever, you could decode software or decode some uh, digital signals and stuff. So, there, you know, that's if you want to experiment a little bit. But it'd be nice if it had a built-in VFO because if I decided I want to move this to the kitchen, you know, I got this other uh, thing to plug in. And the way it plugs in, it sticks out, you know, the, the back, so. Um, I think, is that, seems like I'm forgetting something. I'm a little... I made a video, or I thought I was making a video. The day that this came, I had the camera set up, and I opened up the box, and I pulled it out, and I, I showed the batteries going into it, and this kind of stuff. And then I found out that I had uh, not pushed the, the movie record button. So I was sort of thrown off on the thing. So um, this is a nice, you know, it's a nice radio. Uh, if you're really into shortwave, I get this, you know, get this radio. If you want a nice AM, FM portable radio, uh, and you don't care too much about shortwave, you know, then, uh, you know, I'd say get that one. This one really feels, you know, like quality and, and just, uh, this one here might be more for somebody who wants to kind of experiment and, and play around. Anyway, I'm not going to make this. Uh, I'll, I may not do it immediately, but it's just, when I find some links where people are showing, you know, uh, video or uh, video of them uh, picking up stations or whatever, I'll include that in the in the notes below. Anyway. Uh, uh, thank you very much for uh, for watching the video. Now see if I can hit the right button to uh, stop this video.